They were cub bears. They weren't huge bears, you know. And uh, my father and these firemen used to wrestle with them. Well, up above the uh, fire station was uh, a walkway, and people used to stand up there and watch the men wrestle with those bears. Well, of course, being a darn little nosy kid that I was, I was standing there watching the people up on the bridge, and one of those bears tackled me. There, of course, you got to remember, they just come bears. But I was so frightened, and the more I hollered, and I was so scared, the more those bears hugged me. It took four of those firemen to get those bears off of me. Jessie took this little job she had down at the YWCA in Seattle. Uh, I used to get wise that she was going down on the streetcar. He had a motorcycle and he used to follow the streetcar all the way down instead of staying there and studying. And of course, like a kid, I never followed behind. I'd follow past it and probably wave at her and then wait a minute or two and cross over behind the tracks on some side of the road, wave at her again, which I thought was quite a stunt. Jesse and I had a few dates, of course, and uh, we went to uh, several places. And uh, I, we were always trying to figure out something new to go on. Well, the streetcar line running out to Lake Burien had just been opened. And oh, it was a terrible rough streetcar line. However, we did go out there one day. And right at Lake Burien, the real estate people there had taken a big tree, probably, oh, I don't know how many hundred feet high, but it was so big that about 100 or 150 feet in the air, they had sawed it off and put a platform up there and then had made a spiral stairway to go up there. So uh, this was quite a stunt and I induced uh, Jesse to go with me. We went clear up to the top of that uh, little tower. And of course, that's one of the first time I, I had her where she couldn't move. Of course, she had to give in. And I said, well, how about a little kiss? Well, we, that's our first kiss we ever had was the top of that tower up there at Lake Burien. Now you want me to talk about how we eloped? Mm -hmm. Well, my father was rather queer. He wouldn't let me go downtown by myself. I, although I was 18 years old, so my cousin was visiting, and we persuaded my mother to let us go downtown and take in the show. Well, we went down there, and I was to meet him, and we were going to get married, get a license. His father was to give us a sign for the license. He had to have his father's consent, but I was 18, I didn't have to. So, uh, my cousin and I got out of that show, and here he was waiting, and his father had, was waiting. And we got out the courthouse, and his father was gone. And he'd given his, but he'd already given his consent. So we got our license to get married, and he went and called my mother, and want her to come down and she said, oh, you come on home. She said, I got dinner ready for you. Well, we, his sister was very much against our marriage and she had a girl picked out for him. So anyway, we just, just we went down to the depot, but we were afraid his sister might be down there. And so just before the train came, we went dashing in and got on the train. 
and got went to Portland. And that's where his family lived. So we got to Portland and uh, they had the uh, same kind of phones there then in those days that we've got now. So he began to call relatives and he couldn't get anybody. He tried his grandmother and his cousins. And finally, he located one of his cousins. And she said, oh, you come on now. She said, did you get married? And he said, yes. And she said, go clear to the end of the line and I'll meet you there. Believe it or not, the reason they couldn't get anybody, they were having a family reunion. And that's what I walked in on, to a family reunion. That's how I was introduced to his family. And they become my family. Mm -hmm. 